today we will discuss about the one question which we are unable to solve over one month of time under the topic of absolute beginners and this video is completely about the one particular question and let's discuss the problem statement here we are given a single integer and we are required to classify each element of the digits in the number and we have to print it in a separate line where we would execute all the even elements in the first line and all the odd elements in the second line this is a pretty simple question right yes it is but due to the limited amount of information provided in the question it was nearly a nightmare for me to solve this so let's discuss in brief what was the missing part of code and as specified in the sample input we are given with a single number in order to break the digits of the given integer in an easier method we declared an input type a string and further we declared two empty arrays in order to store the values of the odd and even numbers in the given integer in addition to this we declare a for loop where i maps to each value present in the variable a such that for the first iteration i maps to the first value and the second iteration i maps to the second value and the similar pattern repeats up to the nth number we all know that the variable i is of data type string hence in order to classify it to check whether it is an even or an odd number we have to convert it to integer and check whether if it is divisible by 2 and return 0 against 2 using the modulo operator if it does we store the value of i in the list consisting of even numbers else we store it in the list consisting of odd numbers till now we have separated all the odd and even numbers present in the given integer and we have stored it in their respective arrays the only part remaining here is that we should print these array elements separated by spaces but while we do so we are left with one condition which fails in order to overcome that condition we are required to sort the two lists which consists of the even and odd integers before printing them and this particular condition was never mentioned in the question thus by adding these conditions we would be able to solve this question and if you are unaware about all the other 29 questions which we have solved previously i would ensure to provide a card here regarding all the problem statements which you have solved earlier thank you for spending your valuable time and we will meet soon with any random topics in the next video